Do you want to see inside the nest of one of the largest species of ants in the world? Well, this is the right video for you. We go inside the nest of bull ants, and this is Mimesia brevinoda, one of the largest species of ants in the world. Let's get into the video. So as mentioned, this is my colony of Mimesia brevinoda, a very large species of bull ant. I've had this colony for quite some time, um, a rescued colony, and today we're going to have a look at some of the behaviours that you'll see in the outworld, and something that I've never shown before on my channel. This is the brevinoda's hunting crickets. So I don't normally show live feeding, but today I'm just going to show you this, just so you can see what it's like. and. The behavior of the ants during this. So this is their outworld. This is what it looks like. Now we'll be doing a refresh of this outworld, uh, make it a little bit nicer for them, a little bit more interesting as well. So look forward to that. There'll be a video coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these beautiful updates on this colony. As mentioned, the Mimesia brevinoda, a very large species of uh, bull ants. Here we can see the coloration of them. Uh, they've got that deep sort of red color and the abdomen is black. Very large mandibles and serrated mandibles at the front to grip on to anything. Here we can see one of the workers feeding from the liquid feeders. Now this is a special make. Um, this is from Ant Shop Oz and Bull Ant Feeders because, because of their large mandibles they generally can't get into a lot of the liquid feeders out there. Here we can see one exploring the uh, plastic plant that I have inside the outworld. It's nice to give them a few things to climb over and to look around, make it a little bit interesting rather than just a boring old plain outworld. And I plan to make it a lot more exciting. So let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see in the outworld of this colony. Always interesting to be able to watch them as they explore the outworld. Over in the corner here we have a large trash pile um, full of debris. Interesting that they've moved the rocks over as well. And here we can see just a few of the workers hanging out on one of these large rocks. In fact this rock um, I actually got from the Hoover Dam in America um, as a souvenir and I've decided to add it in uh, to this colony. So we can see the outworld it's a decent size for them, which is nice. Gives them something a little bit to explore. In the top right-hand corner is their large trash pile where they've actually moved a lot of the rocks and pebbles and dragged them over into the corner, which is very interesting. Now, you'll see here I have started to drop in some crickets. So I've added three crickets into the outworld, um, just so you can see some of the behaviours that there are. Already you can see that the workers have seen them, now how long will it be before they decide to take down these crickets? Now these are quite a decent sized cricket as well. Um, just as big as some of the workers that we have here. Will they be able to take them down? How quickly will they do it as well? <laughs> We've got a couple of workers here straight away. They're just deciding to have a nice drink of the uh, sugar water that I've just put down with them. There's a couple of larger workers in the outworld, which are generally the ones that do the hunting. But this will be interesting. Interesting to see how quickly they get these crickets. They've got a lot of hungry brood waiting inside the nest, so I'm sure they'll want as much protein as possible. It's actually quite amazing to see that the crickets are right here, the workers have seen them. They're not going for them straight away. In fact, in some cases they're backing right away from them. It is quite intimidating to try and take on something just as big as you, I guess. But here we can see they're watching and looking, maybe waiting for the right time to strike. And these crickets probably don't know where they are. Now, I'm not a huge fan of showing live feeding. In fact, this is probably the only time that I've actually done it on my channel. Um, I don't do this for fun, but these uh, bull ants generally like to hunt their prey and take them live. So something unfortunately that just has to be done but I don't make a habit of showing it on my channel 
um, I don't like cruelty to animals at all so I try to dispatch um, my protein as quickly as possible but in this case the ants do a very quick job of it uh, which is good and um, you'll probably see this fairly soon here we can see the worker um, these crickets have powerful rear legs so anytime they are attacked by the bull ants they kick with power and they'll be able to flick those ants straight off them so we've had the three crickets in here for quite some time but still they haven't been taken down by the workers I wonder how long it's going to take before they do it you can see a worker here at the back just with the two crickets look at it follow it it's following it along it's checking it out is it going to pounce it's looking like it's about to could be interesting and then it just backs away it gets a little bit cautious there a little unsure what to do and it looks like the crickets just going to move away it survives this time here we go again they're tracking them they can see them what are they going to do fascinating to watch now I do keep them fairly well fed so that perhaps they're not really desperate uh, the Brevinoda are not necessarily the most aggressive bull ant species. My uh, Mimesia nigrosincta, um, they will attack and kill a cricket <laughs> pretty much as soon as I drop it in. If they see it and they're out there, they will take it down straight away. Now the bull ants do get a little bit um, feisty here in the outworld. They get a little bit on edge as well. And you'll quite often see them nearly have a go at each other before quickly realising that that's a fellow worker from the same colony. But it's amazing just to be able to see that these crickets are either not aware or not afraid or not quite sure um, that these are actually dangerous, these bull ants. Here we can see a cricket having a little bit of sugar water. Interesting. Will the worker appreciate that? Oh, the worker is not interested at all. Not in the mood to take down something easily its size. And as I said with these powerful hind legs of the crickets, um, they can actually do a little bit of damage. This worker is quite upset. Quite upset by that. Whoop, another one's coming. Wow, look at that. Boy, they're quick, aren't they? But didn't manage to get uh, latched onto that cricket at all, and those powerful hind legs of that cricket has just flung, flung that worker off straight away. And look at this. Just walk straight past three workers and away. Boy, this cricket is lucky. Here's the other one. Now, do you see the workers there attacking each other? A little bit jumpy. And I think it's centered. It's seen this cricket. Here it is. What's it gonna do? Is it gonna strike? Oh, it's chasing. It knows it's there. It's upset. This worker is upset. Oh, so close and flying off. Boy, that worker is going to be a little bit upset. I reckon she'll be back. Here she goes. Whoop, and bang. Look how quick that is. Those mandibles just latch on straight away and won't let go. And that stinger is just curled around. The abdomen curls right around. And stinger puts that stinger in straight away. Let's have a closer look. Look at that. Not letting go at all. And searching for another spot. For that stinger you can just see that stinger moving around and bang this cricket is immobilized pretty much instantly pretty much killed straight away by that sting now it's still twitching um, a little bit and that'll probably be a little bit of its just its natural twitching um, now i'm not entirely sure whether it just paralyzes them completely or whether it does kill them that venom but I know the sting is very painful from the brevin odor. So if it's very painful to a human, I'm sure it's probably incapacitated or killed that cricket just about instantly. Wow, how amazing is that just to see? So it doesn't happen straight away, but these workers definitely do uh, dispatch the crickets fairly quickly. And they're going to need to because very shortly you'll see what is waiting in the nest of this colony of bull ants. 
Amazing to have this colony and I'm so happy to share it with you. Let's have a look inside. Here we go. Beautiful. So this inside the first nest that's connected up to the outworld and we can see large piles of larvae and very developed larvae. In fact, these ones will be spinning their cocoons very shortly, I'm sure. Now it's really nice to be able to see this many larvae being produced. Um, this is not the first generation of eggs that have got to this stage. I've had a couple of other times where I've had workers emerge, new workers emerging. So it's really nice to be able to see that this colony is thriving, plenty of larvae, just need to keep that protein up to them while they like this, so they can develop and become full-blown workers. So let's get up nice and close and personal with this ant and just be able to see the beautiful features of them. Aren't they purely amazing? Beautiful jet black abdomen, the little hairs over it, and then we can see the powerful mandibles they have right at the front. Now this is a little interesting behavior. Let me know if you know what is going on here. It has grabbed one of the larvae, but it is just pulsing its mandibles against it, not doing any damage, but I, I really do wonder, what is it doing? If anybody knows, please let me. Let me know in the comments below. Very keen to know, in fact, here's another one, I'm doing a little bit. In fact, I'd, I might uh, send this off to somebody just to see if they know, an entomologist perhaps. Look at that larvae there with its jaws. Now we've got a worker here in the foreground. Let me just zoom in because I just want to see these jaws a little bit better. There's the jaws of the larvae and the jaws of the ant. Look at those serrated edges on the mandibles. And that larvae in the background is very hungry. Going crazy, looking for some food. Well, maybe one of those crickets that are in the outworld will be dragged inside here for this larvae to eat. Now, bull ant species, um, as I've mentioned before, there's, there's a lot in Australia. In fact, there's 93 species in Australia, and they're all slightly different. And um, some of the mandibles are quite different. These ones are very long and serrated. Some are purely just the uh, hooks or spikes on right on the end. Um, some are short, very short mandibles. So they differ quite a lot, and that's the beauty of this, uh, this genus of ant. But how nice it is to be able to look at these larvae inside the nest. I hope you're really enjoying this footage. It's amazing to watch. Now, one thing you may notice here as we look around this colony is the difference in size of the workers. So we've got some very large workers and some quite small workers, relatively speaking. Um, generally, the smaller ones look after the brood and tend to them, and then you've got your larger ones that will go out and uh, hunt. Um, so yeah, very different size, isn't it? Size difference. Now this was an exciting addition, uh, fairly recently. We've got a nice cluster of eggs up there. We'll have a little bit of a closer look, just so you can see the shape of them, what they look like, and how many we've got there as well. So um, in a second, we'll have a little bit of a closer look up at that. But it is great to be able to have, see all of this brood. All right, let's have a look at these eggs. Look at that nice pile. Good pile of eggs there, ready to go for the next season. So it'll be interesting just to see how long it takes before these actually do hatch. So I'll have to um, time it and just see. With these larger ants, it can take many, many months to go from egg all the way to worker. Very different to a lot of the other species of uh, ants or other genus of ants that are out there. Some take a matter of a couple of weeks. These ones, months. Here we can see a couple of larvae munching down on a piece of cricket that was caught earlier. You can see the second one here just looking for something a little bit soft to eat while the other one is right inside. Gross. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I'm really happy that I can share this uh, inside the nest, inside a bull ant nest and what happens what goes on and I hope you're enjoying this footage really nice that I'm able to capture this and share it with you so I thank you for watching uh, the video and continue to watch as I'll have a little look over at the rest of the nest but I'm really keen to find out your ideas um, for an outworld for them as well 
I want to make it a little bit nicer, a little bit better for them. And here we can see, over into the other nest, one of my white on creations myself. So do you have a favourite species of bull ant? Please let me know in the comments below what your favourite one is. Um, what ones do you currently have? Are you chasing a particular species of Mimesia? Let me know in the comments. Really keen to find out uh, what you guys have and what you would like to see in the future. Is there a particular species you'd like me to be able to keep and showcase to you as well? I have a uh, Nigra Cincta uh, currently as well. And unfortunately, my Pilaventris colony is dying out, which you would have seen in a recent video. If you haven't, check that video out as well. But as always, I really appreciate you watching the videos. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. And a huge thank you to my wonderful Patreons for supporting the channel. Thank you, Medical Carcass 9, Hugh Janus, Gordon C, Ant Nation, and Nicholas Strano. Really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate the support. There's a video recommended for you by YouTube, and there's one there that I think you might really enjoy if you enjoyed this. Happy ant keeping.